once again I'm looking back 10 years and making everyone feel super duper old, myself included. Um, so this month is, it's a band which is pretty special, I mean August Burns Red is pretty special as well, but um, I've kind of followed these guys unintentionally ever since really. Um, I remember picking up the record, it was in uh, Virgin, when we used to have Virgin Megastores, um, which for those of you who are a bit older might remember. <laughs> Um, I think it was in Piccadilly Circus, it, it, or it might have been in Tottenham Court Road, I can't remember. But I picked it up and I thought, do you know what, why not, I'm going to try it out, see what it's like. Uh, I think I listened to it on one of those little uh, things where you scan and you put the headphones on, uh, long since gone now. And yeah, I thought it was absolutely brilliant from the word go, and it's been kind of a favourite of mine ever since. So without further ado, this month's album that turns 10 is... Devil Drivers, The Last Kind Words. For some reason, I've followed Devil Driver ever since, and they wouldn't kind of appeal to me normally, I don't think, but I think the songwriting on this record is just, like, you cannot fault it. Clouds Over California is, is genius. Um, the Axe Shall Fall, uh, Monsters of the Deep, that bit was like... Or what else is there? Not All Who Wander Are Lost, um, Bound by Betrayal, uh, is it Bound by Betrayal? No, Bound by the Moon, uh, Horn of Betrayal with that that guitar line. But I think what I love the most about Devil Driver is, of course, you've got Des's vocals, which are like, Ooh! and it just sounds like a, a fucking tornado being made in front of you. But I think the best thing is the, the the sense of melody that come from the guitars. Like I remember listening to um, Hall of Betrayal for the first time, and hearing that outro bit where it's like. <laughs> melody it just it gives you that sort of I don't know it's really hard to describe it it makes my my hair stand on edge I don't know why especially because I mean I thought pray for villains was was a good album um, I don't think it was quite it just wasn't quite the same for me as what the last kind words is um, I think they brought it back with winter kills um, beast I wasn't a massive fan of uh, and then Trust No One is just absolutely genius. It's it's like they've kind of gone full circle now. Um, but yeah, The Last Kind Words is is great. I, I can't really, I can't really say a bad thing about it. It's one of those ones where you just, you, you press play and you just go. You know, it's like Trivium's Ascendancy. That was fucking genius. I remember when that came out and I just literally, I played it and I was just like, oh my god, there's, there's nothing really wrong with this album. And even now, 10 years on, when I'm 26, I'm still listening to it. And it's still just as relevant, I think. Especially if when you look at metalcore, this is, this is how you do fucking metalcore and this is how you do it well. And the thing is, is Devil Driver pull it off live. And, you know, if you've seen them, you'll know that they're absolutely brilliant. Like absolutely wicked and even if you're not into the music Dez's charisma and the way that the actual band work as a unit is just genius and it all stemmed from the last kind words did you agree with me or would you have chosen something else from this month I'd love to hear your comments I've also got an interview with Dez um, at download festival uh, which is on my site the metal Triss. I'm on the Twitter at the metal Triss, um, all this sort of stuff and yeah I will see you uh, next month for another 10 year anniversary, but who will it be?